This is an example of a while loop. I have two initial variables, the line width, which is going to determine the width of the line appearing on the screen, and my y, which will determine at what y level or how far down the screen the lines will be drawn. The screen is 400 by 400 pixels. I've set the stroke weight of my lines to 3. And I have a while loop that while line width is less than 400, so once it hits the width of the screen, it's going to stop. It's because as soon as it passes 400, it will quit doing these. While line width continues to be less than 400, it will keep looping through this. So I have in my initial line here, I'm dividing the line width by 5 and setting the x, x value to um, the midpoint minus half of the width and the second x point to the midpoint plus half of the width so each line is completely centered. Um, so this is, this is just declaring the line that I'm drawing. Then I have my line width incrementing by 20. This is essential because if I don't have the line width increase, it will never hit 400 and would stay in an infinite loop. So if I were to take that out, this will keep having the y value increase by 10, but it will never change the width of the line and it will never trigger the while loop to start. So let's play it again. This should give me an infinite loop. It may break the processing program. It may not run it because there's an infinite loop. Which appears to be what has happened. So if you don't trigger the change in the variable that's going to have, that's going to trigger this to stop, if line width doesn't change, it's not going to ever hit 400, so it will never stop. And it often in processing, an infinite loop like that just won't work. Now I'm changing it by 10, and this should work. And it makes it increase and goes all the way till it hits the width, and it changes how many there are because it's increasing by 10 and by instead of by 20. But it will still stop when the line width hits 400. So we could play with this at any sort of variable point and get a different result. But if you don't have this line, then it will never end and that will break the processing program so it won't even run. So that's the most important thing when you are working with loops is you have to have some way to stop the loop because the only thing that's ever really going to be an infinite loop that would be appropriate would be something like a running clock or a calendar where you just keep incrementing it. And you can still change those. There are ways to break into those loops to change for daylight saving time, savings time. But typically anything that you're going to do in processing, you need to make sure to in some way increment the variable that's going to tell your loop to stop. Otherwise, if it just doesn't run, you've probably inadvertently created a, an um, infinite loop.